put your hands together, Jonathan Galliani! The very funny man, Johnny Bell. Did anyone else catch that they were exclusively playing uh, covers of like old Nintendo classics? <laughs> <laughs> like at one point I heard like the Donkey Country like underwater theme. Like it was fucking <laughs> beautiful. Uh, you guys, I'm really excited to be here tonight. I, uh, for a lot of reasons, I've been in this garage for a long time. I probably have a contact high. Uh, also, I'm excited because 2019 started off fucking awesome. I got the most insane wonderful unsolicited comedy device of my fucking life maybe ever in history uh i got off stage at the lexington and uh i had a good set because someone smiled with their eyes and I, was like, <laughs> I was like at the lexington i was like oh shit i'll, I'll write that shit down uh and i was walking to the back to have a celebration cigarette and this giant fucking dude that i never met before in my entire life he grabbed me by the shoulders and i, I fucking jumped back like the only person allowed to grab me by the shoulders is me from the future. <laughs> like, warning me about some shit. Like, that's hilarious. Hey, man, you gotta stop shopping at Costco. Like, so fucking, like, that's it. So this dude fucking grabs me, and I'm like, oh, shit. And I was like, and he looks me in the eyes, and he goes, you're weird, dog. And I was like, what? And he was like, you know that, right? And I was like, who are you? And then he just cut me off and went straight into his advice. He was like, look, man, he's like, when you're, he's like, you gotta bring that weird energy to the stage. He's like, you gotta go up there. He's like, you gotta let them feel your weird energy. You gotta feel their energy. And once you guys are all synced up, that's when you hit them, bam, roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? And he was like, roast beef. you gotta change it up too. Spam. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. I don't, and he was like, turkey gravy just kept going. <laughs> I was like, I was so confused. I was like, those are just meats. <laughs> You're just saying meats. I'm like, shit you put on meats. <laughs> oh my God. It was so, you know what's really fucked up though? I've roast beefed on stage now. Like I had to try it. It fucking kills. I don't, I don't know. You guys are, there's comics in the room. You guys can roast beef. I'm not going to be mad if I see you roast beefing on stage. Just fucking try it. It fucking works. Um... Yeah, I wanna uh, I wanna nerd out on you guys a little bit here. I uh, I'm gonna tell you guys about one of my favorite experiments. Uh, it's the one where they gave rats a butt ton of medical grade cocaine. Uh, yeah, they wanted to find out how addictive cocaine is. Co <laughs> the drug that like sometimes in a pinch straight men suck dick for. That drug. They were like, let's find out how addictive it is, and they were like, let's get some fucking rats involved. And uh, what they did, it was so fucking dark. So dark. They took these rats and they isolated them, and then they introduced cocaine water into their environment. And then the rats would discover the cocaine water, and then all they would do is cocaine water, and they would OD and die every single time, like without fail. Cocaine. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, cocaine. It's fucking. That's so fucked up. Like they gave rats cocaine and they OD'd and they died. Damn. But what's heartbreaking is the fact that they made these rats do cocaine by themselves. <laughs> it ain't right. Jesus, not right at all. I don't even like cocaine, but it's a social drug. <laughs> Fuck. You know what the solution is? Just add more fucking rats. That's a Hollywood Hills party. So these fucking coked out rats just talking loudly over each other. Yeah. <laughs> it's that one rat trying to bump a cigarette who never has a pack. <laughs> Two rats just shamelessly fucking in the corner. <laughs> Dude, that shit fucking hurt my feelings. I was like, I used to work in a lab. I, this is coming from a real place. They gave these animals a human drug, but they took all the humanity out of the experiment. Right? Like, these rats aren't in blow till 5.40 okay. in the morning, and they're like, oh, fuck, I gotta open at Starbucks. Like, <laughs> no. Just unlimited free cocaine. <laughs> There's no unlimited free cocaine in nature. <laughs> unless you're a fucking Colombian or a child actor or some shit. <laughs> right? like, what the fuck? <laughs> Treating these rats like river feed? Dude, okay, this is what they should have done, right? If they wanted to learn more about addictive behavior, 
They should have given these rats a limited supply of cheese at the beginning of the month and then figured out how to make them trade that cheese for <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> Those rats would get their shit together so fucking fast. <laughs> just have some strung out rat just fucking pacing in this room like, fuck! <laughs> I blew all of my cheese on cocaine. <laughs> so, fuck, so, I don't get more cheese until the first. Like, fuck, <laughs> tap it on the glass. Like, hey, can you guys front me? Like, fucking <laughs> strung out fucking rat. Oh, my God. I'm going to end this with, uh, let's keep it animal themed, uh, octopuses. Uh, <laughs> uh, I found this out. My girlfriend blew my mind. She was talking about this species of octopuses uh, where when they mate, the male like physically completely detaches his sex organ and then he gives it to the female and then she impregnates herself with it. What? Yeah. And it's <laughs> fucked up because when she said it, I was like, oh, I know a lot of women that would prefer it that way. <laughs> Too many. Well, then I started thinking deeply about it because I have a very philosophical mind and I was like, what if human beings evolved that way? Like, can you imagine if men, if that's how we procreated, like that's how we got down, men detached their fucking junk? It would be so fucking scary for women. <laughs> like, if you're an attractive woman walking down the street, you just have to fucking wear a helmet because you just get fucking pelted and it's like, what's up, man? <laughs> Some dude standing on a fucking building with like a wife beater on. It's like, let me know what you think. Like, just fucking creeping out. You know who would have it the worst, though? You know who would have it the, wor the worst in this fucking alternate reality where men can just fucking boop, pop their shit off? Kim Kardashian. Kim, Kim Kardashian would be fuck. She'd have like a like a, the tremors, like a retired boxer, just from all the fucking blows to the head from like <laughs> dudes on skyscrapers and fucking hot air balloons and shit. Like there, there'd be like a six month wait list for hot hot air balloon rentals. And just any way that guys could throw their fucking just get the dick like oh right into the crack. It would be dude. She would have to get rescued by the fire department on a daily basis. <laughs> she would be like, it would be like fucking ground zero on 9-11. Like she would just be fucking trapped under a fucking mountain of. Let's be honest, mostly black dicks. <laughs> it's, it's Kim K. It's Kim Kardashian. Don't get me wrong, there'd be some white ones peppered in the mountain, but you'd have to like get close and like, oh, okay, for sure, they're in there. <laughs> they're in there. Oh, man. I, uh, you guys, roast beef. Thank you so much. That's my set. Yeah! Captain Galliano, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah!